This is Vinesh. I'm 15 years old. My question is, whenever someone puts you down, how do you push yourself back up? Vinesh, you know, it's tougher when you're 15 um, as you're building your self-esteem and, and your foundation of your life. You know, I, I, you know so many, but listen, if you're 45 and they're 62, I mean, there's so many people right now that are not doing what they love because they're worried about what other people think or what other people say, especially your inner family. We've talked about this at length. Um, I'm very passionate about this. I'm so grateful that I don't give a crap what anybody thinks of me while equally caring. It's incredibly important to me what Indy or D-Rock or Stefan think of me. It's incredibly important. It's stunning though how, how anti-establishment or how much I would push back when they would try to impose their will on me. And that's a very important differentiation. Um, actually, that's one of the first times I've ever kind of articulated this way and I like this. There's a very big difference between what one thinks of you and what one tries to do by imposing their way on you. I'm very open, empathetic, and quite self-aware of what everybody thinks of me and pander to it, react to it, and adjust to it. But for somebody to try to impose their way on me without knowing me is just super not interesting. And so, you know, I was able to navigate through junior high and high school and really not struggle with peer pressure. I just very honestly thought I was better than everybody. Uh, I didn't act that way. If you go talk, if you go find all the kids that went to high school with me, I don't think any of them say that I walked around with like I was cooler than them. You know, that would have been very hard as a four foot eleven freshman that was being made fun of for not being five foot. Um, it just it's how I thought inside, and I think that there's a lot of intestinal fortitude to use a gorilla monsoon term. Uh, that's when wrestlers would get beat up, but then they would fight like the Hulkster and Macho Man uh, and Ultimate Warrior. That's, that was the whole kind of like genre of the '80s: get beat the crap out of it, and then all of a sudden, um, and so uh, that's kind of how I am. Like I can take a lot, and then all of a sudden, like you know, fight back. And so, you know, there's nothing I can say other than <laughs> when you're 15 now, when you're 51 or when you're 91, you're gonna be stunned how little you care, how little it mattered. And, and this includes your parents and your siblings and even your children. This is an intense thing. This is a very intense thing. But if I could, if I could wish anything besides health on people, there's a lot. I say, this, I say this saying a lot. There's a lot of traits I like, self-awareness, everything. But man, there's an unbelievable uh, happiness that comes along with self-belief. And, uh, and recognizing how this plays out. And let me tell you how it plays out. Prince, as he was taking his last breath, and it's a big shout out to Prince, I'm a huge fan. I don't think Prince cared what Billboard magazine said or what anybody said. It's just the way it is. It's the way it is. And so if through this plea on this show on 201 on a Monday in late spring, the, if I could get four of you to understand if I could get four of you to understand it's just not gonna matter when people, I mean, I love when people, I, I'm, I don't even know what else to tell you. I'm gonna say it very clear. I just, let Stefan get very focused here because I wanna really deliver this with all the drama that it deserves. And I like when people put me down. I get off on when people put me down. Nothing is more interesting to me than to prove all of you wrong. I love the people that think I'm a huckster or I've got some hidden agenda or I'm not that good or I won't be that great or I think too big of myself or my dad had a liquor store and that's the only reason I'm successful or I got lucky or show me like please 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 continue to judge me and underestimate me because it's the only driver I have and that's how I'm wired and I don't expect all of you to be wired that way, but if I can, through my energy, move any of you, and trust me, I'm reading your comments because your comments are my oxygen, and I see so many of you, so many comments over the last three or four months of people saying, hmm, I've got a little more cockiness or confidence than I used to. As a matter of fact, I see it in you guys. I truly see my inner circle have more confidence when they're like, it just rubs off. India, you're getting cocky. I, oh, yeah. Have you felt it? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. But it's true, right? There, there, there's a rub off. It's kind of like a leader on a sports team. Like it rubs off. And one of the great accomplishments in my life will be the fact that I was able to rub off my confidence, not only on my inner circle, but on the community that decided to, to give me. It's unbelievable how good I feel that I get to reward the amazing reward that you give me, which is in all the things that you could be watching right now, you're watching this. In all the things you could be reading, spending time on, 
time you've decided to watch me, me. Do you know how incredibly empowering that is? And it's at scale, it's not three people. Do you know how empowering that is? And for me, knowing that not only do I give you tactical advice, or in a funny way that I answer question number three, a girl in Indonesia might say, well if Gary V is bad at math and has been successful, I can too. Or in this ending rant, you can care a little bit less what your coworker or your older brother or that naysayer says or what I know so many of you deal with which is the trolling and the hate and the, and the disagreeing even when it's done well. And I love when people disagree with me in the comment section. I take it for what it is. Even when that happens, do you know how pissed I was at Daily V30? How many people like emphatically were drilling me for a bad episode? Fine, but like after all, like, and that's fine and I agree and we didn't do a good job setting that up and I don't think I set up DRock for success. It's a genre that he's not as passionate about. I could have done a better job. I understand that but it blows me away of how much venom people can put of like, like after you provide, it's, you're only as good as your last at bat. 200 great episodes of a business show, 30 great episodes of a docu show, 5,000 fucking interviews of business stuff, unbelievable engagement, answering your questions, answering your snaps, boom, one baseball fantasy thing and pure and utter disagreement, disparagement, hate, negativity, that's hard. I'm the most confident and it felt bad and I didn't like it. So what do I expect from others? I get it, but it is what it is. And at the end of the day, it's not gonna matter. And you have to love yourself first and feel good and complete with yourself first. So as a 15 year old, I would do what I did as a 15 year old, which is start building those skills and not listen to your parents and not listen to your teachers and not listen to your friends. Respect it, but don't let anybody, anybody impose their way on you. It's you, you're with yourself and you've gotta make yourself happy first.